Hello, so today I want to give you one more tip about having some good quality and optimizing your code. So, one of the things that you see in existing applications that it's um, bad technique is actually to have methods with bunch of parameters. So, let's say that for example this method logic were to insert some uses in the database. In this case, I just return true for demo purposes. Uh, let's say that this is already in production and that this specific class is already being used in other parts of the application, like it's been used in here. Now, let's say that for some requirement, I now need to add some more fields to that person. So let's say that, for example, now I need to add the profession, the marital status, and the beer place for that person. So one of the things that you will have noticed with just this is that my code actually just broke. If you see, now I get this error that says there is no argument given that corresponds to the required format parameter profession of the actual class where I am in at the moment because the code that was already using this specific method now is forced to have um, more parameters. So now I will need to add here profession, marital status, a beer place. But not only that, now I'll need to go take these parameters too because these are just what I am sending but where I am getting them to be able to send them if this is a controller. I need to do something like that. So you will see that for some small change uh, in functionality, I had to do big changes that actually broke my, for a simple change in functionality, I actually had to do a lot of changes and it actually also broke my compilation and my dependent code. So there are some things that people do that I honestly do not agree with, which is treating all of the new parameters as optional. Okay, so if they are not being used, it doesn't matter if you send them or not. However, this is something that happens here. You see that if I created some, uh, added some new parameters that I mark as um, optional and then I need to add a new parameter that is actually required, it says that the optional parameter must appear after all required parameters. So what happens in here? If I add some optional parameters at some point and now I am forced to add a required parameter for whatever reason in the system requirements, the code will not let me to do that without actually changing or rearranging the method signature Basically, I will need to move all of those parameters from places. And this actually brings other issues. Like, if I am not, if I am consuming 
the let's say if I am consuming the um method like this without naming the actual parameter and if they are all at the same time I could actually fall in the error without realizing of sending the wrong parameters or sending parameters incorrectly like arranging them and instead of sending them to the same parameter uh, sending them to other to the other parameter so what's the best thing to do just create classes so basically this is the person bl now instead of having all this what you need to do or what's best to do let's just create it here for default purposes class person and let's say that's the entity take all this let's see and I have that okay mm -hmm. we create this public okay person ID get set okay public stream first name get set Last name get set date time okay it's public two birthday get set okay now for the moment I am going to comment this so I don't get any errors and now let's say that I have this and now I need to add those fields public string profession get set public string birthplace get set public string country get set okay you will see that I actually this successfully implemented or added some more fields accessible to that uh, method without actually breaking the application or any dependencies that already exist in the code okay then for let's say that for example you add person does not require the marital status you can actually use either use the same class person person model and basically you will receive everything and this value will be uh, will be null or if you want to actually reduce a little bit the JSON require uh, if you are using JSON or serialization or uh, any other kind of serialization you could actually have something like public class person model sorry public class add person parameters 
but this is a this is a technique used in a lot of places where you will uh, in your endpoints or in your controller uh, actions you will only have um, you will only receive the actual values that you need for for example let's say that um, <coughs> the add person the add person method or con action controllers action or endpoint whatever you have um, only needs the name and the last name you can just create a class specific for that method with only the fields that you need or using an already existing class with all of the um, of the fields and configure your serialization to ignore the null values so they don't even go into JSON things like that uh, control your client application so they don't go into JSON and control the server serialization so they don't go in the output JSON okay and again if you want to add more fields you will basically just add it here last name country without breaking the application at all now in this specific case you will see that it doesn't it won't really work for me as well it will actually work because I haven't changed it from person model to add parameter add person parameters but if I had something like this then I would just need to either do something like uh, person person entity equals person and then I know that this class only needs the, only has the person uh, person model you know, name last name and country Person model dot last name country equal person model um, the country yeah name last name country okay and this is a problem there for the compilation error and instead of using person model here I will use person and and yeah this class has everything because that's the main entity but the actual parameter class from the endpoint only has the fields the fields I need and I just do the mapping and now if they have the actual same names or if I know how they are going to be mapped I could use something as auto mapper to not even have to type those codes every time I need to do this and use map them automatically to move from the add parameters type to the person type and just send the output variable to the uh, business logic add person method so yeah that's another small development tip for having good quality code thank you very much and have a good day